I saved a ridiculous amount of battle reports from KVK, ranging from people accidentally swarming flags and getting a lot of dead troops, to having full-fledged battles where we're garrisoning or rallying, defending a pass, or attacking objectives. So stick around in this video for every single battle report that I saved, and there are an unbelievable number of reports and things that we can learn. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chisco Gaming, and this video has been sponsored by the makers of Rise of Kingdoms. And today, I just want to go through all the battle reports from this KVK. And before I go too in depth here, I do want to mention briefly that this includes everything starting from Zone Five and the battles that took place there before we had Liel Sid Bastion, which is game changing, leading all the way into King's Land and through the conclusion of this KVK. So let's get this started with some garrisoning, baby. Zenobia YSS, ho <laughs> ho warming things up against the good old XY Chandra Gupta. This is a 1.1 million loss for us to 2.7 million dead troops for them. I don't know what was going on here. Maybe they forgot their gear. It, oh man, this is so old that I don't even have their stats, which is a bummer, but they certainly forgot their support skills. So that'll definitely cause that sort of a gap. The Belisarius support skill is absolutely gangbuster, must use. And at the time, I mean, Boudica was the best you had. So yeah, that's what we were using. There's a bunch of swarm and AOE and other things in these reports. I don't think I've got time to actually look at every report and look at all the AOE. So I'm just going to stick to the the meat of it, right? The, the main show, which is boom, right over here. They're in an 18,000 to 748,000. Now, this is the start of the KVK Zone 5, and I just want to mention, like, they're forgetting support skills, um, which happens to the best of us, by the way, but uh, they definitely pick up the pace, and you'll see toward the end of things that they completely rethink the way that they approach these rallies. Now, here's a weird one. This was a garrison situation where the captain got knocked out. I remember this. They were swarming so heavily, the captain got knocked out, so Skittles Nebu Herald was... The captain for a time, and that's not a march she actually uses in the field. That's just the march that uh, the game automatically selected when she was near the flag and just kind of dumped the troops in automatically, which is kind of the magic of infantry, by the way, is that you can just push, like, you know, reinforce and send, and it'll pick the captains, and, you know, okay, it, they're, they're, they're not great, you know, commander pairs to go march into the flag, but you don't care. It's defaulting to infantry, and they run in there, and that's like, Really amazing. I don't know how that's going to be for archers. Like, we're going to need presets. For cavalry, we're going to need presets. But uh, 1.4 to 1.1. So having the wrong captain for some amount of time, it's listing the, the Nebu Herald. There's not a, a Nebu Herald meta. There's actually my Zenobia probably in here as the captain for the majority of this fight, just to make that clear. And that is a Ram Nebu. I don't know that the support skills even make sense to look at here, although they have done this correctly, I think. Oblique Tactics, and then Soroli, uh, Sharpshooter. That's the Kira skill for 20% of stats total. Totally worth it for a Zone fight, or Zone 5 fight, rather. So here's a report from Ifu, 1.3 to 1.9. Really solid report for us here, looking at the troop buffs. They pick up on the fact that they need Oblique Tactics. I think we're making a little bit of a mistake here deploying a, a healing ability. I think the Boudicca ability for the Rage would be definitely the, the stronger pick, um, but... Still a really, like, really solid report overall. Here I'm garrisoning. And, uh, I mean, look, I I've said many times that I, I think that there has almost never been a time in Rise of Kingdoms history when Guan Leo was a good rally. And maybe in a multi-rally context in which it's tanking, there's something to do there. But I've never felt like it was a good rally. And, I mean, the outcome here, I think, echoes that. 493,000 to 760. And they're using the same skills I am. So can't fault them on that. I just don't think it's the right combo, especially in the meta that we're in. Here is 503,000 to 1.2. So a really insane report again. I mean, these are just completely insane. And that is because the support skills are right. So I don't know what's going on here. I mean, I have to think they've got gear on. I don't know what changes so dramatically between now and the end of KVK, which you'll see where... Like, they, they really tear up the, the quality of their ability to rally. So we get a look at the next report here, and this is a juicy one. 1.7 to 2.4. Uh, 
Uh, again, they they really like pick up the pace with with the quality of their rallies throughout KVK here. Um, they're using the right skills. So let's get a look at the next report. This is a small skirmish. Guan Herald again, not not a top tier rally. Shouldn't be using it at all. And, and I mean, if this had run on for a while, it it could have been pretty bad. Getting a look at the next report here. This is Woody at the helm and. Uh, in this case, it looks like we were knocked out of the garrison. I remember this flag being in the absolute worst possible position. God, this was a terrible flag to defend. And what he is missing is support skills. Whoops! That'll definitely uh, sway the trade significantly. Here is an accidental swarm on the flag. Mega rip. I save these because, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't even bother saving them. Here we go. Uh, here we get knocked out of the garrison again. And it still was an extremely positive trade, 824 to 1.1. Uh, and the support skills are mirrored here on both sides. The power loss is about the same, but you got to keep in mind that a lot of that is in sev wounds for us. Here is a fort that I'm garrisoning, which is kind of cool. And I mean, yeah, forts, dude, you do not want to rally a fort at the start of KVK. Their rally cap is limited. I mean, he's got 2.36. No, no, no. If into 3 million, it's just so tough to deal with. Uh, so, I mean, you, you have to have some major commitment if the enemy is active to take out a fort like that. 1.5 to 2.3 is just really savage. Support skills are on point there. Here is the fort garrison again. Uh, 2.5 to 4.1. That is a massive report. Oh, my God. I got to take a picture of this. That That is just an insane report. Wow. 23.7 million power. A lot of that, 814,000 troops to be exact are in the hospital to the, just the straight up 4.1 loss over there is really savage. Uh, Red Lion, what's going on here? He's got an Attila Takeda, and that's a rally. Oh, is this a counter rally? Okay, this is a counter rally. Um, nothing too crazy to see here. I mean, it's just Sev wounds, you know, Attila Takeda hitting some archers and, and working really well for what that's worth. Up next is... Fort Garrison, 2.3 to 3.4, just completely savage. Power loss of 21.8 to 19.9. So, I mean, I think we've got more T5 troops for sure, but a lot of that goes to hospital for us. I'm not going to lie. I genuinely forgot how insane our reports were at the start of KVK. 1.5 to 2.7. That's just absolutely insane. I, I, I honestly am shocked. I don't know what they did to so dramatically improve the quality of the reports over this KVK. It's completely insane. Okay, here we've got another one. I mean, 619 to 1.1. Just absolutely bananas. Here, oh, somebody swarms, rip their 70,000 troops. Is it, oh my God, this is another swarm on, <laughs> this happened a lot, man. This happens a lot more than you would think where people end up swarming a flag and losing just hundreds of thousands of troops along the way. It's just so gross. Here's an, oh, okay, another swarm on a flag. Oh, my God. Hundreds of thousands of troops just super ripped there. Wow. Okay. Up next, uh, yep, another swarm on a flag. Jeez. I mean, people were fighting around this flag and just, like, kept hitting it. Oh, my God. And they're still hitting it. And they're still hitting this flag. I mean, just, like, millions upon millions of power loss from, from flag swarming by accident. Wow. Here is... A SIF rally, and you better look out when SIF launches a rally. He's not fooling around. 1.6 to 1.9 against a Zenobia, and he's got the right support skills, and they do not. You know, getting the support skills right on your presets, absolutely crucial. Okay, this is a weird one. This is a rally on somebody's city, and it took me a minute to figure out what am I looking at, Um, but the city defense is Attila Takeda 2? So that's weird, but the city does ultimately burn. Good lord, 500,000 dead to only the 286 for the city, but no doubt there were follow-up rallies launched on that city. Uh, here is a King Sam garrison, 320,000 for uh, the garrison and 452,000 for the rally. So I remember this. This is when we were fighting both war camps at the same time. We had people trying to contain Kingdom 2000 up north, and they were trying to fight their way out. And at the same time, we we're fighting for control of the other Zone 5. So we're fighting both kingdoms at the same time. Uh, and I'm glad that King Sam was on at this like very weird hour, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 719 UTC. It was like, it was, it was, it was rough, man. That was a rough, that's a rough time for our kingdom. 
Uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I don't love the Mutineer, but I also, you know, they're, they're using Celtic blood from Boudicca here and also Mutineer. So, um, a little bit of an opportunity there on those support skills, but a great report for the garrison. Here's another one, 484,000. Oh, I remember these. I was like, hey, man, you want to come at me? Come at me. Uh, to 976,000. Yeah, so they're, they're launching archers. They're using uh, Military Genius, which is not a great choice. At this point, I've picked up Martel's Counterattack from Zone 5 Bastions, which is a pretty solid pickup. That, that definitely is going to help sway these reports even more. And here, I mean, 1.1 to 1.9. Okay, this is, this is pretty solid. Mirroring the support skills here, but, I mean, that rally just did not work. And then uh, this is another swarm. God, I have, I have so many of these where somebody swarms and it triggers AOE and just causes all kinds of problems. All right, here is uh, 928,000 to 1.5. Another really solid report. Uh, skills are correct there. Really wish that the rest of the buffs were were listed so we could see like kind of the gear and, and what's going on. Here is a Neb Ram. I forgot how dominating these rallies were. This changes dramatically in Zone Six. Like they see that this happened, and I don't know what they change, but this this really changes a lot by the time we get to the next zone. Uh, because I just remember feeling like, man, if if this is what the rallies and garrisons are going to be like in our favor. Like that, they are going to be in a lot of trouble, right? Um, that that's how I remember feeling at the time. But you can see, like, they're still kind of figuring out support skills and all that kind of stuff. Here's a uh, 781 to uh, one, <laughs> so that's that's in our favor. There's archers here, ram neb, uh, using I think great support skills there. I think those are fine choices. Here we've got okay, another swarm on a flag. Here I'm using, ah, this is like the first time when Pakal became available. So I launched a rally with Pakal Herald, 1.2 to 1.4. I mean, it's it's fine. It's not an insane outcome. It's a fine outcome. Same support skills on both sides. Uh, and I think we did burn their garrison, which is a part of the reason that that report is positive. Here's another Pakal Herald, 1.1 to 1.5. So we get another burn here. And the support skills on their side. In fact, they've got one up on me. They got the uh, El Cid Bastion. So they picked that up. I should have done that by now. I, I just was so exhausted. I, I should have done that sooner. Now, I've got a bunch of favorites here from battle testing. But if we jump up to the next flag report, now is when we're starting to get into, I think, the later zones. Okay, so... Now we're battling for zone sixes. Here is a rally on a flag with Shadow Adam garrisoning, 82,000 to 157. That's a very short rally. I don't particularly remember that moment, but here's more Shadow Adam against a Herald Pakal, 142 to 226. Support skills there, they're missing El Cid. That isn't because we actually stopped their kingdom from getting El Cid. Uh, and then here's 137 to 255. So they're using Pakal Herald again in our favor. This is, oh, okay, that's interesting. They're using the Guan Yu skill, which considering that they didn't have access to El Cid, I think it's actually kind of a cool idea. So when attacking strongholds and cities, troops led by this commander deal 15% increased normal attack damage, and the normal attacks have a 10% chance to reduce the target's attack. I mean, that's that's pretty reasonable. There might be a better support skill, but I feel like that was often underutilized. And man, I mean, like, garrisoning here again. I'm in NL, so I remember this now. This is when we invaded their zone six. And we're starting to build some flags out. 569,000 to 1.386. It's just insane. Um, they're using, yeah, Belly Martel, I think is really great choices for a rally on their part because they want as much anti-swarm as possible on their rally. Uh, here's 78 to 221 against a Pakal Herald. The buffs there, yeah, they're using Guan and Martel. And from this point forward, you can expect I'm almost always using Belly El Cid, unless I'm rallying and garrisoning at the same time. Next report is 226 to 571, just absolutely insane. Okay, yeah. I mean, just completely insane. Here's a swarm on a flag, losing a couple hundred thousand troops, totally insane. Uh, 218,000 to 707, so I'm in the garrison again against a Herald Pakal, and... um. They have ditched Belisarius in favor of Honorable Sacrifice. I do not think that's a good choice. There's, there's just no way around it. 25% damage is just, it's just insane. Okay, next report is Crix in the garrison. 
1.1 to 1.7. This is garrisoning a pass. Okay, so we're garrisoning a pass. We're defending on the other side while trying to also invade um, Kingdom 2000. So we're, we're in both places at the same time here. There's uh, Celtic Blood and also Martell's counterattack. Cool. Here's another report, 545 to uh, 674. So you can see here suddenly, however the calculus changed, I don't know why or how, but however this calculus changed, like their reports start to get way, 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 way better um, and get much closer to what we were doing for our numbers. And I don't, I really don't know what, what they changed to suddenly have the rallies be more performant. Here's 827 to 789. So um, I don't know what changed suddenly in their, their ability to, to get really great reports, um, but you'll see they start to improve. Here's 630 to 976 troop buffs here. They're using, I see, I don't like this, counterattack from Charles Martel and honorable sacrifice. I guess they're just testing that out. Uh, here is 341 to 352. So again, like we're reinforcing the same way we've been reinforcing all KVK. Uh, but suddenly these trades are getting really, really even. And I honestly, genuinely couldn't tell you why all of a sudden they're they're more even. I even don't particularly like the support skill here, five five uh, Tiger General, compared to the Belisarius, which would have been, I think, a better choice. Here's another one, uh, 364 to 573. If we just look through here, like what? Yeah, there's, the, you know, it's just suddenly they're doing better. Um, now, now, granted, this report actually mimics the older reports, where this is just very much in my favor. Um, and they are, you know, they're using El Cid, but not Belisarius. They're using the, the Five Tiger General. And the next report, uh, okay, this may be a short rally on the pass, but I saved it anyway. It's not worth too much discussion. 244 to 387. And this is a XY Chandra Gupta. They're using the right skills. Um, just a positive report for us. Here is, oh, me swarming a flag. Yeah, I save, I save my flag swarms um, just because I think they're kind of fun to, to do and also to, to kind of look at here. But I caught a Guan Alex in a flag. Anytime somebody gets in a flag near me and I don't think it's actually garrisoned, I'm going to swarm it. Um, Pakal Herald rallies. 237 Sev wounds for me, and this is 331 for them. So this was the moment in the KVK when I am launching counter rallies and garrisoning, and filling with my farm. That That's where we're at right now. And this is Celtic Blood and uh, Martell's counterattack. There might have been some better ones to use here, but uh, that's what I, I reached for uh, in this moment where I was doing all those things at the same time. So when you see these, I'm launching my own counter rallies in a lot of these instances. And I think in a lot of cases, when the counter rally got there, they're just going to cancel. 964 to 1.2 against the rally here. Up next is, yep, that, the counter rally, right, on the rally. So the, the Pakal Herald counter rally was really great. If you swarm that, you're just you're just going to get completely wrecked. The AoE on those is absolutely insane. Uh, 1.0 to 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, and then also now I'm taking a double rally. I should, I should be scrolling. I bet you a lot of those other ones I was just looking at on the passes were double rallies. 874 to 583. So now, now they're doubling. And the other thing they're doing is cheesing with one troops. So I think that's probably worth mentioning as they start to cheese the pass, which is kind of, I mean, I don't know how you feel about that, but I think that's kind of not cool. So they're they're cheesing the pass to try to reduce the AOE damage. Um, and I think that also is helping sway the reports in their favor. That's a mechanic in game. I don't think it should be a mechanic in game that, that a single troop can uh, dramatically reduce the performance of the garrison, but that might be part of the magic. The, the cheese there is is how they get that done. Uh, here, I mean, I don't know what's going on here. Somebody in my rally didn't clear out their hospital. Um, so the counter rally does well, but somebody gets dead troops from from my counter rally. Lol. So these are double rallies on the pass, 1.1 to 1.5. And if I scroll down, a lot of AOE here. Here's the double, 848 to 925. All of this I streamed, by the way. I'll have a card up in the top if you want to check that out. Double rallies are really tough, and a part of what they were doing was manipulating their angle of attack, which I think is perfectly fair. I wouldn't call that cheese at all, uh, to try to make it so that you can avoid getting hit by the area of effect damage. I think that's actually like pretty legit and is a mechanic that just makes a lot of sense. 
cruising through here. Uh, they are swarming with Edward Tommy to try to get some Tommy debuffs. I mean, that's some serious commit. 1.1 .1 to 1.0, and then a bunch of cheese, and then 658 to 668. So uh, support skills forgotten, too. So, so they could have done better there. They, they kind of forgot their support skills for that one rally. But taking double rallies is pretty tough, especially when your AoE from YSS is not hitting both targets. Now, here I'm in OA, which means at this point, we are moved onto a different front. We're battling against 2K again, and we're trying to get more territory. And this is the moment when we're trying to um, enable or really, really like fully create a situation. I mean, almost from start to finish, create the situation in which our allies can have a safe harbor in the enemy zone six and rebuild a foothold there to get back into the fight since they weren't able or, or weren't defending their own zone six at this point. So um, we create a safe space. We do that in part using OA to carve all that out. So this is when I'm in that shell. And I mean, I mentioned before, like Guan rallies make no sense in this meta. And I think here's a pretty good example of that. There's a belly Martel. Um, 279 to 657, 124 to 402. That's a Guan Pakal. Definitely would not recommend a Guan Pakal. Support skills that are Belly and Martel, which I think is very fine support skills for a rally, given that they don't have El Cid. Uh, 144 to 286. So I try, I'm like, hold on, let me try out. Let me try out Pakal with Harold and see how that does against a Zenobia. And yeah, I mean, pretty good here. 144 to 286. Um, support skills for the garrison, belly, and I, I mean, I, I think honorable sacrifice is actually pretty reasonable. You start getting shields when you're low, um, given that they don't have El Cid, but I mean, that trade was really positive in our favor. Here is a really savage one. So they're rallying with Ram Neb, 1.1 to 2.2. Really good trade in our favor here. Um, they've got the Martel skill, and I mean, dude, my Zenobia, I, I feel very good about having gone all in on infantry equipment. This was the rally on my city. I was wondering if I would find this report. So they rallied my city. I kind of wasn't ready, but I was ready enough. I used Zenobia with Theodora. And I used the Theodora secondary instead of YSS because um, I'm going to be over 50% troop strength when they're doing this rally. So I get the all damage boost from Theo. Huge. Whereas I wouldn't get the all damage boost from YSS. Plus Theo's clearing the debuffs off these guys, the Attila Takeda. So... I mean, it's just it's just really gross. 34,000 deads is from being reinforced, and I'm pretty sure I'm fully reinforced at that point. I did get resource aid for that as well. Support skills chosen by the attackers is five tiger generals, which makes a ton of sense, and oblique tactics. Those are fine choices. So back to flags here. Abe is defending a flag, 974 to 1.5. I mean, these, these reports, man, they're really good. Uh, 1.0 to 1.7, my God. God, and now I've got some stats showing up, which is really great. So we're back to having some stats we can look at, which I think is definitely helpful. We can see their health is 124. That, that's where you want to be. You want to be up in that range with, with calves and maybe even higher with this particular combo. Uh, but I mean, they're just getting pretty wrecked over here. And that's in part just because filling garrisons is so much easier. I had Artemisia with Yadviga on my city and somebody swarmed my city by accident. Wow. 216,000 dead and 102,000 dead. They swarmed my city when my garrisons were out of my city. Holy moly. Okay, and then 1.4 to 2.5. Good Lord. Uh, XY with Chandra Gupta. Then this report's probably pretty juicy. 938 to 1.4. I honestly remembered the reports being much less in our favor. I'm, I'm going to be perfectly honest. Like I, I, I thought I was going to be showing you a bunch of reports that looked even. Not what we're seeing here. Fenster was the captain at some point. Oh, my God. With Guan Yu Leonidas, and it's getting swarmed? Oh, my God. This this is a captain disaster right here. This is just a captain disaster. But it uh, turns out to work out really well in our favor, which is hilarious. I think at some point, the captain probably swapped, and then they're just getting really wrecked. I bet you a captain got in and it got swapped. It's showing the Guan Leo. But I almost 100% guarantee that there's a Xeno with YSS in there at some point as the actual backup. Uh, here's another one. Uh, this is Ram Neb, 3.6 to, or I guess, 364 to 715. So a two for one here. Uh, the next report 
We're again, we're still in that 2K area trying to carve out a space for our allies so that they can continue to participate in the KVK and battle into Kingsland with us. 835 for us and 1.5 for them. I, mean, just, just, I do not, I, did, I genuinely did not remember these reports being this insane. 477 to 818. This is uh, some sort of just open field report. Why did I save? An Alex Harold open field report. Maybe I just clicked it. Okay. Uh, this is a Guan Leo rally. I mean, if you had any questions about whether or not like a Guan rally of any kind makes sense, I, I feel like I've not seen compelling evidence. 49,000 to 180, and they just cancel at that point. I've got a Cyrus and Ram. So at this point, I think I'm just swarming flags, and I saved reports of that. Um, and when I'm swarming a flag, like, yeah, it's nice if the report's positive, but even if it isn't, like, if, I, if I'm if i able to potentially get a burn, which it looks like I did there, then then I've done my job. Um, yeah, okay. What do we have here? 262 to 49 or 69. So uh, that that is an OA flag rally. Okay, so this is when... The other war camp, the water war camp, has now gotten into the zone with Kingdom 2000, and they're both fighting us at the same time. 262 to 469 is, is very heavily in our favor. Uh, let's keep going here. 115 to 223 is really solid and in our favor. This is a Cyrus the Great and Ramses, and I'm swarming a flag, and I think they're swarming my march which is kind of awkward. So I'm swarming the flag and they're swarming my march. Okay. But I trade really positive. So, and all I care about is the dead troops. The rest of the report, I mean, sure, they swarm my march, but like it's the dead troops part that is all I really care about. And probably a burn or maybe no burn, but I mean, I think I, think I probably got a burn on a double C, no secondary. I vaguely remember running way into the, the enemy lines to hit this flag. I vaguely remember just, I was like, I'm going deep and like going for this flag behind their murder ball. I remember this now to hit this flag. Oh man, this is a trip down memory lane because I saw the double C primary nose secondary and I was like, I have to hit it. I was scouting and, and yeah, I, I definitely got the burn here and they didn't swarm out all my marches. And in fact, I think I got the burn and a lot of the, Damage to the marches took place after this flag was burned. Then I got the highest Ark of Osiris score I've ever gotten. So that was kind of cool. They tried to swarm me an Ark of Osiris too. That was really something. I got a lot of points there. Then we're back in the thick of things, swarming a Zenobia flag. God, you madman. Here's a groggy rally that uh, was not successful. And now um, we're either... We might not yet be in King's Land. This this might still be the same. This might be the same area we're fighting in. Five ninety nine to six hundred thousand. We look at the troop buffs here. Groggy's Cav stats. He's got about uh, one ninety eight point five attack, one fifty defense, and one oh six five health. I think he's short on health, and he's got the wrong support skill here. Uh, definitely, this is not the support skill you want. Both of these support skills would need to be rearranged. So I think that explains why that report was not as good. Also. His health's low. I, I like. I wonder if he's got the right gear on his calves there. I wonder. Okay, there's a bunch of flag swarm stuff going on over here, which like yeah, I don't know. It's sort of interesting to look at. But here's another garrison. So in case you were wondering, like, is you know YSS good? I think the answer is obviously yes. One seventy six to three forty two is a pretty solid trade here. Troop buffs. Now, man, the Tiger Lu Bang rallies. Dude, this dude runs his rallies correctly, and he's got some crazy archer stats. 203.5 attack, 180 defense, 93 health. I don't know, those stats don't seem so crazy to me when I read them out loud, but I remember them being really crazy. Um, I've got 207 infantry attack, 233 infantry defense, and 98% health in this particular report. Um, oh, swarm on a flag. Rip your troops, dudes. Holy rip your troops. Okay, and here's a flag that gets burned. And even though my flag burns, it trades positive. Uh, 581 to 762. Okay. And then they got the support skills there. Archer stats look the same for them. Here's another Archer Rally, Ram Neb. 
313 to 508. I mean, pretty, pretty solid here. Okay. And then 456 to 1.1. Yikes. That XY Chandra not doing well. If we look at their stats here, 98% health. 220 cav attack and 134 defense. So more attack than groggy, less defense. Uh, some of the main differences there. Okay. Ooh, this is a juicy one. Now we're back at a pass. <laughs> now I'm back at a pass. Okay. So 1.4 to 1.6. Is this a double rally at a pass? What's going on here? Wow, that's just a good rally on their part. I think they just, they're just, they're just we're leaning in, you know? I think they're just leaning in. If, if we look at their cav stats, 218.5. Yeah, there's that 122 health. That 120, that 120 health range is where you want to be. That's where you want to be. And, and they're very low on defense, though. 116 defense is much lower. Okay. Let's keep looking at these. Pakal Herald, so I'm launching counter rallies as well as being in the garrison. Okay. 433 to 625. So I think at this moment, we are carving out that territory in, in one zone six for our ally, and then at the same time holding the pass uh, to the other zone six and trying to, to hang on to that. But I really like the, the cav health they have on these rallies. That 120 plus range is the magical place to be. 1.3 to 1.4. I mean, you can tell. Like, all of a sudden, it's like they figured out a way to make their rallies a lot better, and I think that it just has to do with the equipment. If I just look at this and I see... Like, what are their Cav stats? And that health stat just going way up, I think, is the reason that suddenly these reports end up being so much more even. The only thing I can think of, if you've got ideas, definitely let me know. Um, 238 to 300 here for the Ram Neb, and I'm pretty sure well, it's not a double. They just got a single Ram Neb. All right. And, and uh, like, not the best support skills either. But, but it does really well. I mean, they did really well in this particular situation. Uh, the next report, 7... 32 to 1 mil. So this is a much better report for us. This is a much better report for us. It's a single rally again. I mean, and this is all before we got into Kingsland, man. This is all before Kingsland. 423 to uh, 530. So that, that rally goes better for them, and they've got good support skills running there. Okay. Up next, 912 to 897 against the XY Chandra. What do we got? 911 to 935. So for whatever reason, these these rallies suddenly kick into high gear. I don't know if they changed their talents. I don't know if they changed their equipment. These rallies look really quite good. Um they, they do look quite good. Here's another uh, flag swarm, I guess. Where I kind of go all in on a flag. <laughs> this happened a number of times. And like, yeah, I lost a lot of troops here, actually. These are all T5s, like straight T5s, right? So that's like half a million power lost in that one march. Is that right? Is that half a million power loss? Wow. Yeah. I mean, we're going for a burn. We're we're going for a burn here. And then it ends up being rut, rut row. The rut row. Oh my gosh. Uh Ethel Fled and, and Minamoto. Okay, so I, I get them here, I think. I think I'm gonna get them. Oh yeah. All right. Yep. More marches getting in on that swarm on the flag. All right. Uh here's a rally. Oh, this is really savage. Now, this is the player that rallied my city. And I got a two-for-one on them in terms of, like, when you add up the Sevs um, and the dead troops in my city versus all their dead troops, right? Like, if, if we were both getting all dead troops, I, I mean, I got a two-for-one in that regard. Um, so something happens between now and then where they improve their rally, and I, I think it's the fact that they switched to El Cid. Oh, and I must be somewhere else at the same time. I'm in two places at the same time here. I think I must have been rallying because I've got these uh, sort of secondary support skills kicked in. That's interesting. 88 to 407. Yeah, and here's the rally. <laughs> I, I knew it, and th that's really gross. So I, I catch them off guard in a flag with a rally, um, and that's 25,000 to 315,000. And I, I, I save all the reports, the good ones, the bad ones, the ugly ones. So um, I'm showing you everything that that I was in. Um, even when we lose, I favorite them. So this is, this is like every report I was in. 233 to 375, and there's the XY... Chandra. And you can see their cav health is low, their defense is relatively low, and, and more of that is invested in attack than their particular stats here. Okay. Uh, I'm in a flag again, and somebody's swarming it. 
I'm going to flag again. And here's a bang rally, Tiger Lou bang, 22-6 uh, to 241. And, I mean, that goes about even. Um, yeah, I mean, his, his rallies were very good. Uh, okay, let's keep going. Here's a Pakal Herald rally, 516 to 613. Uh, and they've got Martel, an honorable sacrifice. Here is another garrison, 547 to 593. So suddenly the rallies are doing like way better. I, I, gen I genuinely don't know what the secret sauce is. Maybe it had to do with the shells they were using when they were battling against us. I'm honestly, I'm, I, I don't know. Uh, what what shifts here? Maybe it's being in the right shell. 1.2 to 1.5. Uh, this is in a flag. So big big flag rally here. Big flag rally. Uh, yeah, right support skills. All right. Uh, okay, now I'm starting to be stretched thin. Must have been late at night. And I suit up the Yadviga Theo. Uh, and I vaguely remember defending against this assault. You know I don't think Guan's a great choice, even though we've got calves and they've got infantry. 67,000 to 143,000. And I'm using my secondary uh, support skills here, Martel and Celtic Blood. That's Boudica because <laughs> my uh, Xeno is deployed elsewhere. All right, and then uh, here's Kitty uh, with a garrison. 109 to 179. Okay, cool. If we just look at these archer stats real quick. 211, 5, 163, and 79 health. That's really low health. That's really low health. Here I'm garrisoning again uh, with Yadviga Theo, 151 to 284. So they, they run the same thing back. Did not go well. Okay, and then I garrison again against another Guan Herald, uh, 391 to 542. So that's, that's closer. That's definitely closer. Okay. Uh, in fact, what are my Cav stats? I get that these are different commanders, right? But I've got how much calf health? Yeah, 117. That's that's up there. And then 145 defense. And I don't know what city skin I would have been using at that moment in time. I might have been using my infantry skin. Here is another XY Chandra, uh, 350 to 503. Okay, and they've got the Belly Martel. I think those are great choices for a rally. Yadviga Theo again, 62,000 to 110,000. Here is Yadviga Theo, 105 to 180. Okay, and here, I mean, they, they pick up on El Cid, but they should have been using Belly 2. Uh, here's another one, 148 to 518. Oh, yeah, that's woo, YSS. I mean, I just caught them out here with the wrong captains, you know? Um, I, I caught them out with the wrong captains with the Pakal Herald, and that's just going to be savage for them. Here is a pass garrison, 589 to 560, so a lot closer I wonder, was this a double? Why was this so close? Could not tell you why suddenly this is a lot closer. I think our reinforcements are generally very good. Troop buffs look fine. My stats look fine. Their stats, 210.5, 187, and 96 for the archer stats. Okay. Uh, 613 to 732. So like I said, I, I genuinely, I'm not sure, maybe I'm just missing it, about like what changed about their archer rallies. Maybe they changed their build. Maybe they just changed their build. I'm not sure. Skill damage plus 16%. Holy moly. That might be from the commanders they're using. Yeah, I guess the part of that's from their commanders. Anyways. Okay. Uh, Abe Garrison. Zeno. 1-4 to 1-6. And they're using... XY Saladin. Now, I'm not entirely sure why they started using XY Saladin. That's something they started to do. I've, I remember that. Um, this is a pass garrison. Here is a flag garrison in T. So at this point, I think we're in Kingsland. If I'm in T, if I'm fighting from T, that means we're, we're fighting in Kingsland now. So we're in Kingsland, 126 to 238. Okay, Yadviga. 29,000 to 61,000. Are we in Kingsland? Maybe not. Where was T that I was using these captains? I, I don't remember this in Kingsland. Uh, 368 to 335, and they knocked me out of the garrison with a Guan and Herald. Maybe we've been in Kingsland for a while with these reports. 
that that could definitely be. <laughs> and I'm just there's just so many. Um, here maybe maybe this is like the second day of of Kingsland. I don't I don't remember two fifty to five forty. So I'm in T. I'm pretty sure this is the second day of Kingsland at this point, man. How did we get to day two already? Um, two fifty to five forty. Pakal Herald very much in our favor. They don't have the L said skill. Here's a T flag that gets burned, 159 to 143. I mean, I think, I think we're just missing reigns at that point. 40 to 63,000. Here's another one, uh, 261 to 202. These are flags I think we were just desperately trying to defend, but just didn't have the bodies. 825 to 1.1. It's definitely a rally in our favor here. Here's another Yerviga Theo uh, getting swarmed. Oh, yeah, that's, that's not going to go well. Uh, 56,000 and 91,000. Tiger Lu Bang is trying out that Pakal Herald. He's got the right skills. His infantry attacks really high, 240 and a half. Wow. 173 defense and 102 health. I mean, those are good stats. Those are definitely good stats. Okay. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, I, okay. So this is definitely the morning we're getting evicted from Kingsland and are under a lot of pressure. I remember this. Osho and the garrison taking a double rally from a Pakal Herald, uh, 3 mil to 2.7, and then 2.7 to 1.1. That's really gross. Yeah, it's not good. Um, I mean, th th we're getting pretty beat up there. Like, that. that's really bad for us. But let, me look at the f let me look at the support skills that Osho is using. Um, yeah, you know, he's got the right sales. I mean, I think we're just getting really beat up there from a double. There's just no way around it. I'm using Pakal Herald. I am rallying. Yep, I'm rallying a flag. Where is the flag part of this report? Maybe I even... There it is. 368 to 367. I think at this point, we're kind of desperately trying to burn a flag. Oh, yeah, and at this point, we're out of Kingsland, and I'm garrisoning the pass because my city's about to be attacked. 243 to 271. So at this point, we're we're at a we're at a King's Land. They hit my city a bunch. Um I Pakal Herald rally with probably no success. Yeah, 680 to 530. We're rallying into King's Land at that point. Uh past Garrison, 538 to 978. And this is a double that I'm defending against, 500 to 589. Here's Shadow Adam defending, 848 to 908. This is a pass garrison, and it is a double, uh, 627 to 529. And then a flag. I remember this flag. After the ceasefire, Citizen Demon swore me. I think. Is that right? I think so. Do I get knocked out of the garrison? No, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just getting swarmed. I'm pretty sure I had another one, though, where it was like, after the ceasefire, I got swarmed out of a garrison, which like, eh, whatever. I mean, it's going to happen, but I still traded positive if I remember correctly. So anyways, um, those are all the reports I have on my main. I also have a ton on my farm. But this video has already kind of ended up being way, way, way longer than I expected. Uh, the reports that I would have on my farm might be duplicative of what I have on my main. Those are all going to be, you know, past garrison reports and flag reports. I guess they wouldn't all be duplicative. Sometimes my farm was in different places, but I'm not going to go through all the reports on my farm. I maybe will just flash them up on the screen. So if you're you're kind of looking, you can you can get a look at some of the stuff that was going on in other places in the battlefield. Sometimes, I mean, you can see I'm reinforcing my own flags, my own garrison um, with, you know, my farm troops to kind of get things done. Here's a rally I, I reinforced. And by the way, you've probably noticed I didn't reinforce all that many rallies in the grand scheme of things. For the most part, I am in a defensive position, like holding stuff down. And instead of reinforcing rallies, often what I'm doing is positioning behind a flag to swarm it. And I want to have all my marches kind of full health ready to go for that operation. All right, let's keep going here with a few more of these reports. These are King's Lamb battles. Some of these are going to be double rallies, I assume. I need to scroll more and see. Here's a Crick's garrison. 318 to 439. This is a huge report. This must be past garrisons now. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, this is a flag. This is a flag. 2.3 to 2.1. Is it getting doubled? Guess not. 
just a it's just a really big report. Wow. Yeah, and I mean, and it gets swarmed. Oh yeah. Okay, this this is getting swarmed. That's what's going on. This crazy swarming. There were a lot of flags where there was crazy swarming, and like, I mean, we're trading very, very, very positive, and all this swarming, like, it's completely insane. But they probably do get the burn, and like, that's all they really needed in Kingsland. You know what I mean? Like, just get the job done is the goal there. Can't even. I can't even make it through. Oh my god. There's just. There's just too much. I can't even make it through all this. 1.8 to 2.0. There's just too much of this. Completely insane. And these swarms are just completely insane. Like 200,000. That's 2 million permanent power loss on that swarm. Just totally nuts. 619 to 699. We've got uh, 766 to 954. 208 to 227. I mean, oh yeah, these are tax revenue reports. I mean, I like to save those just to see how much we're gathering as a kingdom. And the other thing I like to do, for what it's worth, we made it to the end of this video, is, you know, I like to try to put my farm into garrisons and defend stuff because, I mean, if I can get this many dead troops on my farm, I don't know why you couldn't have gotten this many on your main as well. You know what I mean? Like, if I could figure out how to play my main and get my farm into this much action, like, I don't know. It seems pretty achievable to me. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, uh, throw a like on here and consider subscribing. I apologize, this is considerably longer than I expected, but hopefully some of the information in here is insightful. And I mean, this is this was just a hell of a KVK, not gonna lie. Until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom.